Jada, and I'm coming to you with day four of 30 inks, 30 days. Here is our ink of the day from yesterday. Look at that sheen. It's like this copper, like bronzy sheen. Oh my gosh, it's so stunning. Stunning. Oh, it's beautiful. We did get some bleed through on the first page, and I know some people in the comments were like, no, you didn't move the page. But I decided YOLO. Decided to throw caution to the wind and um yeah not do that so we'll see we'll see how the month progresses i might switch to just doing the side of the page i don't know but for now we're doing both sides of the page um but yeah i loved this i loved this a lot um as usual this fine nib is gives me trouble it doesn't give me trouble it's a great nib but my mood i have to be in the mood for a nib this fine and I am not often in the mood for a nib this fine um and the it gives me trouble because the fine is such a jump from the medium vanishing point nib that it really just like messes with my head <laughs> I try not to let it bother me but it's just one of those things that like just drives me a little bonkers I don't feel like the broad to the medium is much different but the fine to the medium is like light years it's light years different so um yeah so i struggled with it i preferred it in the hobonichi oh i should have brought my book over i preferred it in the hobonichi because my hope my planner is a hobonichi planner um i have the hobonichi cousin and i preferred writing with it in the hobonichi versus my anne of green gables project because of the um the ruling or the the space between the dots because it's a dot grid notebook is so big that this my handwriting looks really sloppy and messy when I use fine nibs in that large of a space so I didn't care for it so much in that application and we'll see that we'll see that tomorrow because I'll, I'll make sure that I grab the book um but yeah I really have enjoyed using it throughout the day at work and um yeah it's a lovely ink it's a lovely ink and I also I mean you might have seen this I don't know if you watched the recent Twisby video but I did use this ink as my dip test for that pen and um, loved it in the medium nib as well it's beautiful actually in case you didn't see that video I did do a writing sample and here's what it looks like in the medium nib which I love it even more I love it even more I just love a juicy medium nib especially from Twisby so beautiful 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 but enough about yesterday, we're talking about today. So let's grab our box of ink and we're going to, I'm gonna open it this way. So I'm not grabbing all the same, I mean, I'm grabbing all the same inks, but I feel like it's a different orientation because I'm opening it on the side instead of here or here. Anyway, it doesn't make any sense, but let's go ahead and grab an ink. Uh, this one, I don't know. Hopefully it's in the frame. I don't know what we have. I'll find out in a moment. Oh, almost the dead center again. Almost the dead center again. Okay, I guess I don't have to prolong it because we did all of our chit chat. We have Van Diemen's Kookaburra Crest. So, well, this is going to be interesting having a brown next to this metamorphosis ink. And I think I'm going to put it in my, I know another pilot. This has a medium nib. Or do I want to do it in this Twisby? Or this Kaveco? I feel like I want the brown ink in this pen. This is the Pilot E95S. I have a medium nib. It's a medium gold nib. I love it. I think after writing with the fine nib and being annoyed by it, I, um, except in this pen, I have a fine nib as well. I have the black one in fine, and I don't mind it in this. I don't know why, something with the vanishing point style, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. That's, I mean, that's also, a possibility. Um, I have the same type of converter that I did in that decimo, so we're going to fill it the same way, which is a syringe fill. Syringe fill the converter. Put it a little past, a little past the line. And then I'm gonna just fill it and expel a, another time just to make sure that I have enough ink in here for splats. Uh, Maria gave some kind feedback about how I uh, demonstrated how I do my splats, so that means a lot. I'm gonna prime the feed a little bit, but we're also gonna dip the nib um, because I just like to do that. It seems to make things happen quicker. 
so we've dipped our nib I'm going to wipe off the excess and then we will close this up and let it do its thing for a moment um, I guess we should do this and then our splat and then we'll go do the swab that sounds like a great idea that sounds like a marvelous idea and we will try to make this video a lot quicker than we had the last couple um, my goal is to not make these videos too long. Okay, I definitely need, like, this definitely feels wrong. Let's see. I'm just trying to... Make sure I have ink in here. I don't have. I don't have the um, the cards here. I should make that a priority. But this is like a very pretty pastel brown. I think I was getting it mixed up with one of the other ones, but this is the pretty like brownish gray. I'm so happy right now. I think one of the Mandarin Duck inks is actually close to this wearing goal. I think I thought it was that for a moment. Based on the color of the label, the label is misleading. It looks more of a brown brown, and this is a gray brown. And much lighter. I love this pen. This pen was a gift, actually, from an anonymous penefactor. And I don't know if they're watching this video, but I use this pen all the time and I love it. It was a pen that was on my wish list, like not a known wish list, just my own internal wish list. And um, they sent me a bunch of samples and also included this as a gift. And I'm like, I was floored, absolutely floored. And uh, yeah, I use it all the time. And I love it so much I bought one with the fine nib. I actually bought one for a friend with the fine nib and then loved the way it, I don't know, I just had to get have my own. So anyway, we have Van Diemen's uh, Kookaburra Crest. I'm going to reverse right. Okay, no I'm not. Crest. Very messy, but very pretty. So we'll let this dry and we'll do our splats. Our splatty splat splats. This is 30 inks, 30 days. Of course, in case you weren't aware. Thirty inks, thirty days, April twenty twenty-three. This is day four. And the ink is Van Diemen's. It's part of the Birds of a Feather series. I recently swatched every ink in this line, um, so I'll link that video. We also received the inks in an ink flight not too long ago. Um, I don't think it was the last one. I think it was the one. It was the one before. Um, and the pen is a Pilot E95S, and I have this with a medium nib. And this is a gold nib. It's a, I think it's a, what is it? Is it 18 or 14? I can't tell. I don't remember what the gold markings mean. 585, is that 18 or 14? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's a gold nib of some kind and it's lovely. Okay. Splats. Splat, splat, splat. I'm going to lift this up a little bit. So I have a little more room for spottage. Let's see if we can get the oh hi. Let's see if we can get this to do some cool stuff. It looks like a butterfly. It looks like a butterfly. It's a gray brown butterfly, and I'm going to just leave it like that. We're just going to leave it to do its thing here. I love it. I love it. A moody butterfly. That's what I see. What do you see? 
I feel like this is the first time we've had one that actually looks like something else. <gasps> Look at it drying already though. So lovely. Gorgeous. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on and we will do our big splat or big swatch. Here it is. Oh, these two look so nice next to each other. Lovely. I'm happy with my life choices right now, even though they were randomly done. Okay. Van Diemen's. I mean, they were kind of randomly done. I did like choose the inks that sit in this box, so. Cucumbera Crest. Pilot E95S. And this is a medium. I'm gonna do the swipey. It's very light. Well, I mean, it swipes out really light. There's lots of nice shading here though. It is very legible. I was worried it'd be a little not, but it's awesome. Awesome. Awesome opossum. Hi Pearl, are you coming to say hi? Hello, oh, they can't see you. Okay. Well, thank you for climbing up on me. Can I finish this video? Can I finish this video? I'm almost done. I just gotta do one more thing. Can I please? Oh, Pearl says no. Okay, Pearl, I'm gonna have to force it then. We can snuggle in a moment. Up, up, up. <laughs> okay, or I just do this with you on me. She's sitting like a parrot on my shoulder, kind of. Okay, I really can't do this. I love you. I love you. Do you hear her purring? I don't know if you can. Are you so purry? Are you so cute? Are you gonna go say hi? Go say hi to the pen people. Oh, there we see you. We see you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, Purple. Okay, Purple. Can we, can we, can I finish this? Miss B, Miss B. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, let's finish this so Pearl can get her snuggles in. I came home and I immediately filmed my Twisby unboxing and I'm fil filming this video. And she has not gotten her after work snuggles and now she's demanding them. So we must appease the Pearl. Where I have to pay the Pearl tax, as I like to say. Stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. Amazing. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't do any sort of like watery things. Let's just do that real fast. But then I'll ruin the butterfly. Then I'll ruin the butterfly. What if we do? What if we do like this? barely dip it and then I play with this this little bit right here there we can see what that looks like compromise we still get to see it played with water but I don't have to ruin my pretty butterfly picture or buff body builder I see both things now what do you see <laughs> Let me know in the comments. What do you see in this splat? <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. It's freaking stunning. I'm so happy. Um, yeah. All right. Day four in the books, literally and figuratively. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow with day five of 30 Inks 30 Days. Take care. Love you. Bye.